You may have heard that humans aren't designed to be strictly vegan because of the fact that carnitine is only found in animal flesh. But our bodies should make all the carnitine we need. Carnitine is a dipeptide made from the essential amino acids lysine and methionine, and it's found in nearly all cells of the body. Carnitine plays a critical role in energy production as it transports long chain fatty acids into the mitochondria so they can be burned to produce energy. In 1989, the Food and Nutrition Board concluded that carnitine wasn't an essential nutrient as healthy human liver and kidneys synthesize sufficient quantities of carnitine from lysine and methionine to meet up with daily body requirements without the need of consuming it from supplements or food. Also, the Food and Nutrition Board has not established dietary reference intakes for carnitine. However, in rare cases, some people's bodies may not be able to make enough carnitine. So let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger as he talks about these rare cases, and then from Dr. Michael Clapper as he explains why some people may need to transition slowly to a plant-based diet. Carnitine palmitoyl transferase, and why is this enzyme actually upregulated by about 20% in people eating plant-based diets? Uh, we're not sure, maybe the fiber, maybe a microbiome effect. But that's one of the reasons why people eating plant-based have higher resting metabolisms, which means, you know, just when they're kind of sleeping, essentially, they kind of burn more calories. One of the reasons that there are such low, you know, obesity rates. And again, it goes right back to the mitochondria. The reason carnitine is in muscles, is in meat, is because animals make it. We are animals and we make it too. Um, it's like, there's a whole list of things, creatine and carnitine and things like that, which are made by animals. We get it eating animals, but we're animals and we make it too. Now, of course, there's enzyme systems that actually create carnitine in our body, and people have different abilities to create it. And about one in uh, 10, 20, 30,000 births, someone who actually has a, a deficiency um, in creating carnitine can't create carnitine and would never even know it if they ate meat. Because they eat meat their whole lives, they're just getting carnitine this way instead of their own body making it. And then, should they go vegetarian, they get end up in the hospital. Now, so what do they do? They take carnitine supplements and they're fine. I mean, they could stay vegetarian, but as long as they're getting carnitine. So the vast majority of people should be able to make all the carnitine they need. Most people, you know, start eating plant-based, start eating healthy, feel great, energy off the chart, you know, all the good things we would hope. Their blood levels look great. Okay. Some people don't do well and, you know, end up going to somebody like me that, you know, sees a lot of these people in my practice. One of the first things I do is I'll, I'll try carnitine on them. I'll try, I mean, there's a whole kind of list of supplements of these things that their body should be making. But, you know, we're all different. We, you know, all of our enzyme systems sure. are, are a little different. And so, you know, we may need to tweak the diet. So, yeah, that's an important part. I see it very rarely, but when I do, it's really a dramatic difference. This craving for meat is an acquired dependency that we create in infancy at age six months of age. When the baby is still nursing at the breast, that jar of baby lamb, baby chicken, baby turkey is opened. And from that point on, animal flesh gets slathered on that infant's intestinal tract three times a day. We introduce a flesh-based diet from infancy. And the body adapts to it. And the liver adapts, and the intestinal microbes adapt, and the intestinal wall adapts. And we become dependent upon it. And the genes in our body that would make carnitine and creatine and all these muscle-related nutrients, that those nutrients are coming in three times a day in the burgers and the chicken and all stuff, it down-regulates our own production of these things. And so we become dependent upon this stuff. But this is an acquired dependency. Those genes are still there. They can wake up. If you transition to a plant-based diet, it may take six months, 12 months, but you, you can wake those genes back up again. But to say that we need animal flesh and if I don't eat meat, I feel bad, that's because we have created this from this very abnormal feeding pattern in, in infancy. These people eating these flesh-based diets are setting themselves up for an epidemic of heart attacks, strokes, autoimmune diseases, colon cancer, diabetes. A flesh-based diet is a diet of death. In this study, strict vegetarians and vegans showed no signs of carnitine deficiency, and the rate of L-carnitine biosynthesis in these strict vegetarians was estimated to be 1.2 micromole per kilogram of body weight per day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.